right now coming to the multi vibrators so there are mainly three types of multi vibrators that is a stable mono stable and bi stable so a stable multi vibrator is also known as free running oscillator okay so how you are going to design an a stable multi vibrator in an easy way like the what is the basic idea behind the design of this a stable multi vibrator that means you need to use odd number of inverters why we need to use odd number of inverters huh because the state should not be stable right suppose odd number of inverters means one is an odd number so you consider one inverter okay an inverter is nothing but a not gate let us say okay so what is the output of a not gate it is the complement of input that means if you are giving one as an input you are going to get zero as output again you are that output is coming as input to the inverter then what you are going to get one as output again that is going to come as input to that so again it will complement so like that you need to use odd number of inputs for a stable that means the output state should not be stable it should always vary right yeah the application will be square wave generator means if you see a square wave what will, what is a square wave you should get two levels for a square wave either it can be plus 1 minus 1 or plus 1 0 or 0 minus 1 but there will be two states they are nothing but they are not stable always they are repeating with the time period right so you need to use a stable multi vibrator for generating square wave then coming to the mono stable mono stable multi vibrator so by the name itself you can understand that the one state is stable which is also known as one shot multi vibrator so here one state is stable and one more state is unstable so when a state is stable it is not going to change at all until and unless you apply trigger that is the meaning of mono stable that means you are making a stable state to an unstable state when you are applying a trigger pulse okay so whenever you want to change a stable output you need one trigger and you remember here after giving you will get an unstable state so from that unstable to stable you don't need any trigger that is important hmm right that means you need only one trigger pulse in case of mono stable and the applications are like pulse generator and pulse stretcher okay then coming to the bi stable so the name itself is saying again the both states are stable so to make any stable state into unstable state you need trigger pulse right so okay here s1 is stable so for making that to s2 you are giving a trigger pulse again s2 is also stable because it is because it is bi stable so again for making that to another state that is s1 you need one more trigger unlike mono stable so here you need two trigger pulses okay so the applications are like one bit memory element so how you are going to implement bi stable either using one flip flop or using even number of inverters okay so why even number of inverters here it is because it is opposite to the a stable right so let us take two as an even number and you use two inverters so for this if you give input to the first inverter 1 the output will be 0 and again that will be applied to the second inverter because you are using two inverters so the final output will be again 1 so the input and output are same so this is the main concept in multi vibrators and uh, suppose in example uh, in a, in questions 
they will ask you they will give you one circuit and they will ask you to decide whether it, it is a monostable or stable or bistable suppose if they have given one rc circuit with a trigger pulse you can tell it as monostable if there is no trigger it is a stable okay thank you